Um, when I first came across your IG page, I just thought it was interesting the fact of combining, you know, cosplaying as well as cooking. And as over the years, been following your page, been blowing up. You've been going to a lot of events. I think last year you got to actually go to like the the Flash premiere party where you got to meet the the, the person at the time that was playing Supergirl. Well, what was just your, you know, your inspiration behind starting a page that was able to combine, you know, two of my favorite things, cooking, baking, well, three of three, cooking, baking, and cosplaying? Um, okay, so I actually started with just a foodie page. I think at the time, it might have been around 2015, 2016, you know, the whole, whole taking pictures of food was blowing up on Instagram where you would just see, you know, pictures because at the time there were no reels or anything like that. Um, and there was a foodie that I followed, um, her name, well, her Instagram page was fat is fat girl hedonist. And I love what she was doing. She was putting up recipes that were really good recipes. She was going to local spots. And I was like, you know, I, I, all we do, all my husband and I do is go out to eat. We love to eat. That's like our thing. We watch movies and we we watch movies and we, yeah. Sounds like my wife and I, (laughs) (laughs) I'm like, I'm already taking pictures. I'm just not posting anything. Um, because I would love to like pull up and be like, Oh, you guys have to try this. This It's awesome. You have to go to check out this place. And so, you know, I kind of got inspired and I decided to do that. At the same time, I, I thought, you know, I love to cosplay. Um, I started cosplaying around 2007. Okay. Um, maybe like a year after my husband and I were dating, he was the one that introduced me to cosplay. Um, he used to go to conventions with his friends. And at the time, this was 2006, 2000, I believe he started in 2006. Um, it wasn't as big as it is now. I mean, yes, there were conventions, people would dress up, but I feel like there was a huge shift during the whole MCU thing where it just became this popular thing for everyone, you know, all different fandoms. And around 2007, I went to my first convention with him. I didn't know anything about cosplay. I, it was literally a last minute. I think it was, I did Tifa Lockhart last minute Tifa Lockhart. He was doing Kakashi. Um, and I went and I loved it. I fell in love with the whole concept of cosplay. I stopped doing it right around the time where I got pregnant with my daughter. And by the time I had her, I decided to take out a cosplay page where I would just do like little cosplays. And it was just a lot to handle two different pages of like, food. I'm like, you know, I'm like, and it got to a point too, where I would go to these restaurants and I'm taking pictures. And I'm like, this looks like what everybody else is doing, which is fine. But I just wanted to do something a little bit more my style. Yeah. And Around 2019, 2018, I started Food and Cosplay. It was very casual. Um, I decided that it would be a fun way to showcase local restaurants dressed up as a character that would make sense for that particular food or dish. Mm -hmm. So I believe the first big official one I did was when I cosplayed Linda from Bob's Burgers. Nice. And I went to the local uh, burger place. And I love the fact that at the time, the chef and owner was also a fan of Bob's Burgers. And he cosplayed as Bob. So when I got there, my husband was the one kind of like recording, doing pictures. He, The chef was so into it. He took pictures with me. He let me go to the kitchen. I was able to kind of record, you know, how everything worked back there. Yeah. So I was really grateful for that. I was able to try food, showcase the food in a fun way because I was in character you know it's bob's burgers i'm showcasing their burgers so it started like that um i did chili willy for a pancake food truck which now is like a full-blown restaurant